Hello, another one doing today. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're returning, if you're glad to have you back, and welcome to another episode of Star Trek Resurgence. In the last episode, we transported all the Takan shards onto the Resolute, and the rest of our team got back on the Resolute nice and safely. So things are turning up, it seems. But I wonder what's going to happen with the rest of the Scions of the Flame. It's going to be quite interesting. Let's see what happens next. So let's grab our drinks, grab our snacks, and let's get into this. I guess she's getting an infusion or something. Or maybe not. Oh, I guess she, yeah, she is. She's getting one. Earlier. Major Sarlet Arminta. Ah, yes. I met him at the negotiations. I never would have imagined I'd be here. On the same ship. Working together with our... Oppressors. But now that I am... I can imagine a future where the Hotari... And Elidians are no longer enemies. I always hoped for peace, but it seems so far away. Um. There's still a lot of bad blood. I mean, you should always seek peace. Maybe too much. Peace is often fleeting. If there's a chance, you should take it. Peace with our former enemies may be hard for some to accept, but it's what my people need. Oh, that's coming along nicely. Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here. Okay, so it was right. She is getting a uh, transfusion then. We're almost done. I have to brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. Ambassador Spock can wait. You have some fences to mend. Personally, I'm against the needless destruction of innocent life forms. So I'm glad you transported the Taconian crystals onto the ship. But Lieutenant Bedrosian obviously feels otherwise. And right now, you need the full support of your bridge fleet. Being an effective leader requires trust. But an issue as divisive as this can create discord. Um, I still want a pure opposing viewpoints. Yeah, that's true. I mean, because then way, that way you get different uh, options and stuff. I still need and value contrary opinions. I don't want everyone agreeing with me when they feel otherwise. Oh, you'll know when Lieutenant Bedrosian doesn't agree with something. She's not shy about making her opinion known. It's been a chaotic last few days for everyone. You need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming. You'll have to work to regain Lieutenant Bedrosian's trust. But if she's removed from consideration, it comes down to Westbrook or Ermod. Obviously, there are pros and cons with each, but ultimately, the decision is yours. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Ermot has the knowledge and experience that makes him more than qualified. You really couldn't go wrong with either of them. Um... I mean, West, Westbrook was kind of... I don't know. I didn't really like him all that much. He's slowly getting better, though. He's kind of growing on me a little bit. Uh, Ermot was one of the first guys that we met. He's very smart, and, uh, you know, I like him, too. <clears throat> I wish I could be Bedrosian. Um, I don't know. I kind of like Ermot, to be honest. I don't know. I wish you could say I'm not too sure right now. Um... But I guess for the story's sake, I guess we could say Bedrosian. To be honest, Lieutenant Bedrosian feels like the perfect fit for the position. I would otherwise agree. Given what happened, that'll take some work on your part. You're as good as new. Thank you, Dr. Duvall. Always nice to have a captive audience. Really shouldn't keep Ambassador Spock waiting. Captain. I'll meet you inside. 
I'm here to officially tender my resignation from the crew of the USS Resolute. I cannot in good conscience continue to serve aboard this ship, not while the interests of the enemy take precedent over the safety of the crew. You know what? Request denied. Listen, Lieutenant. I understand how you feel, and I respect your opinion. You're one of the most valuable officers on the bridge, which is why I cannot accept your resignation. I'm sorry, Captain, but I expected as much, which is why I already submitted my letter of resignation to Starfleet Command. My door is always open if you change your mind. Well, I guess we might have to choose one from one of those two guys then. Thank you, Mr. Armand. I'll notify Lieutenant Bedrosian we're about to begin. That won't be necessary. Petty officers Diaz and Edsalar have first-hand experience with our adversaries. I thought it advantageous for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual, but I trust you have no objections? Talk about sure. moving up in the world. Excellent idea, Mr. Chovak. They deserve to be here. In all seriousness, what Diaz and Edsalar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. They're both to be commended, not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these Scions. You know, Carter deserves most of the credit. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. No, it was a team effort. But there were way more people involved than just me. Not only Petty Officer Edsalar, but... We had help from an Elidian officer named Arminta as well. Interesting. Ambassador Spock is ready for you. Put him through. Captain Rindek, your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead. The Takan and their warship. The closest populations are the Hotari and Elidian systems, and they are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. After that lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense. And with our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. Of course, you know that as well as I do. Um, we can definitely take the help for sure. I mean, it is a risk. And we definitely cannot do this alone. I mean, look at all the guys that are getting bioformed and everything already. Um, so we'll definitely take the help. I'm glad to hear the battle group is en route, Ambassador. With what we're up against, we're going to need all the help we can get. And you will have it. Remember... Our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Aphelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own as well as Portal 6-3's methods. The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So. What's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? Don't get caught. <laughs> Is there a weakness we can exploit? Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed. Well, as simple as it sounds, the best thing to do is to not get caught. Whether it's one-on-one -on -one or the whole ship. We avoided the Takan as much as we could. But we saw the bioforming, and there's not much you can do. I found something that might help. It's too soon to say for sure, but... We've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming process. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back we've already lost. But Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes, if not entirely prevent them. And might be the only ship in the fleet with this much Deridium on hand. In fact, a lot of ships wouldn't have any. I'll give it up. It slows, but then what? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, man. 
But if we give it up, that means then bad things will happen to us. But then... Well, I mean, I like to say sacrifice, right? So I guess we'll all just give it up. So everybody I'll else can have it. the rest of my treatments. If it means the crew will be safe. Captain, you'd die. That's an honorable intention. But it's not that simple. It requires a much larger dose to be effective. We don't have enough duridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Sounds like it won't do us much good then. The use case I'd suggest is that it could buy a little time for an officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming mechanism. Prepare a delivery method for this remedy. That raises the question. What is the mission? Assuming the Aphelion uses shields of some kind, I don't expect it will be easy to bypass their defenses. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path. Like we did to evacuate Captain Rydek from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. So we could destroy it from the inside. I'm not exactly sure how, but that's the idea. Um, that's worst case scenario. Turn their attack against them. So it's like jujitsu. We use their attack and turn it against them. That's the idea. We'll keep thinking on it. I'd rather not have to take a direct hit to punch back. There might be some other way we can turn their strength into a weakness. We'll need to prepare a boarding party, if it comes to that. Petty officers Edsilar and Diaz are the logical choices to lead any away mission to the Aphelion. They have already crippled one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, it is them. This isn't like the engineering mission that took you to the Zeldi. Do you really have some special insights that a tactical team wouldn't? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Just surviving won't be enough this time. Only Takan can use Takan tech, yeah. We found that only a Takan can operate their technology to its fullest. So, unless we want to try to do this with one hand tied behind our backs, we're definitely going to need an assist from this portal guy. I like that even less. Like it or not, that's the truth. Yes. Portal should be part of the away team. There's no question in my mind. If this is the necessary course of action, support it I will compile all the latest data on the tricorders just in case in the meantime I want you working on ways we can combat the Takan tech shields weapons anything we can use yes captain anything else ambassador I know this matter is in capable hands hold the line as best you can help is on the way thank you It's time to fight. It's good to work. I have, yeah, faith in all of you. I have faith in all of you to meet this moment with the urgency it requires. I expect all of us to give it everything we've got. Thank you, Petty Officers Diaz and Edsilar. You're dismissed. While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedural element we need to take care of. The Resolute Command Codes must be transferred to Captain Rydek for control of the ship. Of course. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jara Rydek. Voice authorization, Ermot, Echo 4 Lima. Voice authorization, Duval, Beta 2, Yankee. Voice authorization, Westbrook, Alpha 7 Tango. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. All right, uh, Bravo, Charlie. Oh, I don't know, Alpha, I guess. Alpha three. Whiskey, X-ray. What? Sure, whiskey. Why not? Voice authorization, Rydek. Alpha three, whiskey. 
Captain's codes transferred. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Who is the new first officer? Oh, man. Please designate a new first officer. Oh, this kind of sucks because if I pick one, the other one is obviously not going to be very happy. Westbrook, we have taken a lot of his um, things, though. Um, uh, we haven't really done a lot of the things that he Please he suggested. First officer. So to be honest, out of the two, I'm probably going to say Westbrook. Just to be honest, we've a lot of the things he suggested we have done. He's made a lot of good choices and stuff. It is an honor and a pleasure to name Commander Westbrook as my new first officer. Thank you, Captain. You made the right choice. Congratulations, Commander. It's long overdue. I know we've had our differences, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Computer, Commander Westbrook is the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization Westbrook, Alpha 7 Tango. Authorization is now complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Nicely done. I think that went well. Yeah, Captain, me too. Could I have a word with you? Oh, man. I Give knew that something bad was going to happen. Look, I respect your decision, Captain. Commander Westbrook has seniority, and I can understand why you might have felt pressure to promote him. But what I can't understand is why you would choose someone so clearly unsuited for the position. It's the very reason why Captain Solano chose you over him. Because he knew Westbrook, his first officer, would be disastrous. You might be right. I trust his experience. I need his support. Well, I trust his experience. He's made some right calls. Uh, like I said earlier, in the earlier episodes, he said, Hey, look, we need to do this. We need to do this. And, uh, you know, we fell through. We've taken his choices and everything has turned out well. I know you're disappointed, but I trust his experience, and I need to rely on him now more than ever. But that's just it. We can't afford to make any mistakes, and that's my concern with Commander Westbrook. Maybe I've had it wrong this whole time, but I thought we've had an excellent working relationship almost from the moment you first arrived. Of course, I was insulted when you didn't trust me with the information about Captain Solano being compromised, but... I've always supported you, which is certainly more than you can say about Westbrook. He was always against you, especially with regard to Captain Solano. I kind of want to say get over it. For nothing with you. To be honest, I kind of want to say get over it, but I'm not going to. Uh, I still need your support. I value your opinion. I still need your support. Look, I'll be honest. I can't do this without your help. You're one of the best officers we've got, and I need you by my side. Otherwise, we don't have a chance against Galvin. It's as simple as that. And I'll be there when you need me. Just like I always have. I had a feeling that he was going to have an issue with it. understand. Kimmy got everything she's got, but it doesn't make a difference. Something is actively slowing us down. Keep trying. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. Internal comms are down. It's the That's ionic weird. interference. It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications trunk, it should compensate. If I may, Captain. Communications are critical to ship operations. And I should go take care of this. Go. I was hoping we could buy enough time until Starfleet could send more ships. But it looks like we might have to face off against the Aphelion sooner than we might want. If it's just us, I don't I'm like open to suggestions. I'll consider any suggestions from my first officer. Whoa. We're being pulled out of warp! Oh shit. 
The Aphelion is closing on us, and fast. What is the size of that thing compared to our ship? Galvin demands to be heard. On screen. You thought you could run. That I would let you escape so easily after taking what's mine? How pathetic and predictable. At least you can take solace knowing you'll be a far braver to calm than you were as a cowardly Kobliad. Is it any wonder your people perished? Uh, I'll the never be to gone. Is to run from a fight. You can talk all you want. But I'll never be to Khan. Never will be here sooner than you think. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. That I could crush you in an instant if I so desired. And as much as I'd like to, you have another purpose to serve. As one of us. Red alert! Handar, get us out of here. <coughs> Holy shit. Like literally, look at the size of that thing compared to the resolute. I think it's like like eat us for breakfast we're like a snack not even we're like a piece of dirt compared to that thing <clears throat> evasive maneuvers section no systems or structural damage though oh shit they were targeting the crew not the ship captain we have to respond Hit him in the mouth. Uh, what are your orders? Torpedoes, I guess. Fire photon torpedoes. Target the source of the beam. The Aphelion remains undamaged by the photon torpedoes, Captain. And its shields are fully intact. It's too powerful to take head on. Damage report from the lower decks. I still can't raise them, Captain. Could be that the system's down. Well, that was the Takan bioforming ray. And there's no one left down there to respond. Takan may already be on this ship. No you know, no seal the bridge. Ship. Honestly, seal the bridge. Seal the bridge. No one gets access without my permission. I think that's for the best. Here are your new tricorders. Now go. Get to the transporter room. Return. Nope. 
Come on, go, 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 go on. We don't know who's on what side, Carter. Come on. I mean, you could set it to stun and just stun everybody that you see. That way, you're not actually killing anyone. Transporter room one. Hello there, Lydian friend. You're coming with us? A security officer told me your funeral, which I gladly accepted. <laughs> These are concentrated duridium doses. You need to take the dose as soon as you're exposed for it to be effective. Hell, take it right before if you can get the Takan to wait while you do it. I'm having trouble locking onto the transporter path through the interference. I've done this before. I have to align the transporter with the tetrametric signature. Okay. We need to tunnel through the shields. Power to make the jump. I might be able to divert power from Stand the side. The signal is now resolved. <laughs> I couldn't let you fumble about any longer. Time is running short. Thanks for that. No need. We must be on our way. I am Portal 63, guardian of the Con Empire. Nice to meet you, uh, Portal. We're right behind you. Do us proud over there. Ready to transport. Energize. Okay, um, so we're pretty much running out of time. Uh, I didn't see any loading or saving things. Um, so I guess what we'll do is we'll just see what happens when we exit. Um, and we'll just click on this, see what happens. Okay, I think, okay, so that's going to make us watch that whole thing again that's fine okay so uh in the next episode i'll skip all that um and we'll just start uh where i transported where you see us standing there so we'll just start from there uh if you like today's episode feel free to leave a like comment subscribe all that fun kind of stuff things are getting really really interesting i hope that armada of ships gets there soon i highly doubt the enterprise is going to be in this game um you know it'd be really cool if it was but i highly doubt it um, i really hope that Riker shows up again that'd be really cool if he's part of the armada the battle team whatever they showed it uh, i think it'd be really awesome if, if Riker showed up again <coughs> um, but i guess we'll have to find out and see uh, but yeah, like I said earlier, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun kind of stuff, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Star Trek Resurgence.